morning everybody happy monday first day of the summer holidays ah i am up super early it's 10 to 6 i've got five ladies coming in like 10 minutes i've just set out my stations boot camp is still going over the summer of course um i hope you had a great weekend i did the local festival um which went really really well hopefully i've got new customers from that i did like a competition and um, yeah, just did a lot of interacting with local people, which was really, really good. Yeah, just quickly walking these dogs. Look at the sun. The sun is rising. Another lush day today. It's supposed to be like 28, 29 for practically the whole week. So far, we are gonna have a really, really good summer with the weather staying the same. Yeah, we still haven't had any rain though. <laughs> We literally have had no rain. And actually, local places around us have had rain, but like spots of rain, but we still haven't had any here. It's just, it's kind of a little bit torturous because Graham's been putting out hay. I think I mentioned that last week. Um, you know, he's had extra jobs basically to do, making sure the animals have still got food and stuff like that, but it's fine. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because I'm loving the heat. Boot camp slash my workout is done. It's quarter to eight. Whew, it started out really nice out there. You saw the sky, sun was out. All of a sudden this like rolling fog has just overtaken the field. It looks miserable now. It's still really, really hot though. Right, I think I'm gonna make a quick smoothie. I've got to empty the dishwasher. Whew, and then obviously get myself in the shower because I am sweaty. Okay, smoothie, I am doing, I've run out of greens, I need to actually do a food shop at some point, either today or tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna do frozen banana, frozen blueberries, yes. my chocolate peanut cookie protein, and then some sweetened soy milk. And that is gonna be my smoothie. Yeah. Yep, hang on. Except from that protein biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Here's Alistair's smoothie. He has gone for bananas and blueberries and raw milk. Happy? Mm -hmm. Violet's got more blueberries in her, something you? She likes blueberries. And today, crabby! Crabby! You excited? Once we got a baby one, and one time it's got a big one, but until it fell off his neck. We've got loads of big ones and baby ones, haven't we? We've had a good mixture over the years, I think. We used to just have one, and then we got a, a medium one. Shower done. Kids, actually, Violet's not dressed, but Alistair's dressed. Violet, you need to get dressed, please. It's already quarter to nine. Graham's gone. He came in for breakfast. The sun is shining again. I need to do pet lunches. I actually got a new um, kind of insulated lunch bag. We picked up this one from TK Maxx or home sense it was um 7.99 basically just a shoulder strap one and it's quite a nice i thought it'd be quite a nice bag to just throw everything else in um, it's got a pocket in the front and so put a phone keys whatever and then obviously it is insulated in the inside um they did have a bigger style one as well which was 9.99 but i just wanted kind of Nothing too big, because a lot of the time it is me and the kids going out for lunch. Right, a little crabbing tip. If you're going crabbing and you're not into touching the fish guts or the fish, the dead fish, um, they like bacon. Right, we're all super excited, ready for crabbing. Let's head off. It's already 20 past nine. What's happened to the day? I love getting out early though. I love knowing that. I know it's going to be a busy day today down there and it's good to get parking early. First crab Alistair's got. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a big one. Hello, Whoa, crabby. Oh, that's a big one. Mummy, can you see if I'm going to get one now? So I put my. Yep, finger. hang on. Can you get the net wow, ready? look at that. He's like running, running, First running. Crab. Well, it's crab that I've just caught because it nearly ran away. You nearly ran away. You've got a friend. Yay. Got a friend. So far, so good. Got quite a few in there. Wow. Right, they're saying goodbye to the crabs. Go on then. It's the best bit, it's just letting them go. Run, run, run to the water. Woo! Run to the water. Run to the water. And you can take your bike. Run, run, run. Look at them all. 
So we've done just over an hour of crabbing. We caught about 12 crabs, was it Alistair? Um, yeah. Yeah, we did pretty well. Uh, they were getting a bit bored though, because it just, you know, you catch so many and then it's the same thing. So now we're walking to the beach, we're gonna have some lunch. In the element. What? Are you joking? Are you joking? With a view. So this is my lunch. I did like a uh, Sistema and Go, this little salad thing, which is really cool. Got chicken from last night, leftovers, and rice, leftovers, basically a chicken sort of salad, a little bit of ranch okay. dressing. back and the kids mentioned about strawberry picking because we drove past it it's in Sopley um, Sopley pick your own so we're gonna do that I remember last year I think we came here and uh, we did it too late and they would all literally have been gone pumpkin. yeah pumpkins before we do that in October that's where we usually get our pumpkins from so we're gonna do some pick your own strawberries bye let's have a look look at these juicy ones oh my goodness so nice look at them all Let's see. Let's see how red it is. Some juicy ones. Oh. ones. Wow. Good. We're in the sunflower bit. <laughs> we were supposed to catch it, I think. <laughs> Poor sunflower. There we go. It's a pretty one. Got my nice guy. Mm. That's it. About here, I reckon. Yeah. Yep. Well done. That's a pretty one. Violet's pretty sunflower. I think we've got our sunflowers. They're five for two pounds. Pick your own, which is a pretty bit of a bargain, really, isn't it? And they've been raiding the plum trees as well. <laughs> Before, they never used to have it, but they've got a play area here now. And then they've actually got a little cafe in there. They always had a play area. They've, well, they've had a play area for a little while, but the cafe, they haven't. That's new. Right, I'm home. I think I got a little bit burnt. <laughs> Not burnt, I'm really brown, but oh god, it's been hot today. I didn't put any sun cream on myself. I put it on my face, and then when we were at the beach, I was gonna do it, and it just it was so windy, like it was warm, but it was windy. I thought, oh, I'll be alright, and I smothered the kids up, and then clearly forgot about myself. <laughs> um, I'm just having a little bit of cool down time. Are you gonna go in the pool? Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go in the pool in an, in very in a minute, very soon. It's 3.36, so we spent four hours at Muddyford, and then we spent hour-ish at the pick your own. It was quite hot, so the kids didn't want to go into the play park either, so we just came home after picking the sunflowers. I have also got a PT client tonight um, at work, so this is one that's coming to the end, and she's actually going to come over and be a personal client, as in like, um, out of of where I'm working at the moment so yeah we're just using up because she bought a block um, a leisure centre so we're just using that up and getting that done so that is at six o'clock actually time to get in the pool I don't know if the kids are coming but it's a nice breeze out here nice oh yes oh so nice I'm topping it up you coming in as well then Uh, we don't like a crisp. Are you kidding me, mister? Hmm? It's four o'clock already. Uh, Why is it so cold over there? I've got the, the hose, got the hose in. in. It's on. Oh, let's put you up here. Mummy, you look so fun. I know. Oh. My back. We've already made a decision what we're going to have for dinner. So Graham's not going to be home till late anyway, as in like, as I'm leaving to go to this PT. I've got to leave at half past five. 
So he's gonna be back then, so I'm not gonna cook dinner, obviously. I've already made that clear for a Monday. It's bad, isn't it? You're too um, lazy. Clearly I'm not lazy. You always cook dinner. I'm I always joking. cook dinner. Just I joking. always, always cook dinner. I just, I am having one of those days where I'm just tired. I am really tired. And we all have those days, don't we? I'll, I'll be cooking tomorrow. I'll be cooking the rest of the week. It's just, I'm feeling this is how it is for a Monday. But anyway, so we've decided that when I finish my PT at seven, I'm going to whiz up the road because my work's near, kind of near a Domino's pizza. And we're going to have Domino's pizza for takeaway. And we haven't had one in absolute months because I really do my own pizza 90% of the time or save money and just go locally to co-op and do our own toppings. But because it's the summer holidays and because it's a random Monday and we've got no school tomorrow, <laughs> we're gonna go for a Domino's. And by it's being it's evil hose. with that cold hose, it's that laugh. Is it refreshing? No. <laughs> so I officially got changed, ready for my PT client. Um, I was supposed to be seeing her at six. I just, we have been slowly getting ready. I walked the dogs as well. And I got a message like half an hour ago saying that she needs to reschedule because she's stuck in a work meeting. So yay, I am, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty delighted because I'm pretty tired today and I rescheduled it for Thursday at a bit of a decent time, bit more of a decent time at half past four. So yeah, I got in my gym gear for nothing and this top, I bought a load of, um, I bought actually two. I bought this one and I bought like a green, like a, a mint green, like this sort of color. Um, a couple of tops from eBay, like gym tops, just to trial them. They're only under five pounds, they're like four pounds 95. And they look like this. And then they've got like this really cute crisscross back. And this ties, so you can tie it loose or tight as you like. Um, yeah, if I remember, I'll try and link them below, but they come in all different colors and I'm definitely gonna get some more because they're super comfy. It's one thing I hate about gym clothes. Sometimes they're so like clingy and they just hug everything and I just don't like it. I just prefer it when things are loose and not stuck to me. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this colour. It's very, very bright and summery and I think it's making me look even more brown slash red. Okay, it changed now. Yeah. Happened. Oh no. This happened, didn't it, Alistair? Uh, Who uh, made it happen? You. No. Daddy. Daddy made it happen. Thank you, Dad. He was adamant he wanted dominoes. I remember watching a new bear versus shark. Just putting Pete back to bed. Pete is officially a fully fledged outsider. Aren't <laughs> you, Pete? He's got his run. This is his run that he's in during the day. There's Goldie. The big fat Fluffy chicks. I need to update you on all the animals because they just grow so quick. So we've got, we basically got two cockerels and one hen, which is, um, yeah, not the best really, but it was obvious when they were growing, I suppose. So we've, at the moment, we've got four cockerels, which is, again, hard work. Stop it. I know, he just wants some loving. Beautiful Peter. We basically have officially moved him out because we find it's well, he, he should be outside. I, I feel like I he should he be outside. outside. He loves being outside. The fresh air, he the grass. Um, we let him run around like this quite a lot, and he loves it, doesn't he? We're gonna get him a little friend, aren't we? We're gonna. Well, we don't know what we're looking for yet, not but we, girl, we, we need to find him a little friend. Or lucky, the one that we had hatched. She looks like Ben, bless her. She's getting so big. Chicks. And what did Ben bring home? Chicks. How many? Eight. Ben brought home eight chicks. So she's been getting broody anyway. And then all of a sudden, uh, Friday, so a few days ago, she came back with eight chicks. <laughs> and we're unsure if they're even hers or if there are some of the others. And she's just been sitting on them because they do look different. 
Yeah. But she's happy. They're definitely yeah. This one, and to here, it's got a black spot on its head. It's really random. I call it inky. It dyed its hair. So she's got eight new babies. Which means cool, that we've got cool eight dude. more cool chickens. Right, I am off to bed. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now look at my sunflowers. The kids have nicked basically bought five the kids have already nicked two of them for their rooms um yeah they've brightened up my day brightened up my kitchen I haven't had flowers in ages uh yeah so we've just watched love island or i've just watched love island um and off to bed gotta get up 5 30 oh, might see you in the morning